Leonardo AI just released its new feature called Photo Real. In this video, I am going to test out the capabilities of Photo Real and also compare it to some of the generations of Mid Journey. In order to access Photo Real, go to leonardo.ai and go to AI Image Generation. Right here, you will have this tab called Photo Real, so you just need to turn it on in order to start accessing this feature. Once you have turned Photo Real on, right here you will have few options cinematic, creative, vibrant, and none. You can select any of these and then in order to start generating anything just write a simple prompt and test out this feature. Right, so this is the first prompt that I wrote. A beautiful girl in her 20s, she is a model, has blonde hair in a vibrant forest camping scene. So as you can see this prompt is really very simple and these are the results and I've got some amazing results. And for some reason all the faces in these images are similar even when I didn't give the character any name. Now instead of the previous prompt I added in Hawaii on a yacht wearing a bikini because she is a model so now let's click on generate. I added some more elements in the prompt like full body shot of a beautiful girl and I kept changing the aspect ratio in order to get different images. So these are all the images and honestly these images look really very amazing. Now I will change the mode from cinematic to vibrant and then click on generate. Not much of a difference in Vibrant. Now let's try Creative. Now I changed the prompt a bit and I wrote side shot of a beautiful girl in her 20s leaning on the railing of a yacht. She is a model, has blonde hair, standing on a yacht in Hawaii. And these are the images. So leaning on the railing and then instead of full body shot I wrote just side shot. And this is what I got. Now let's move on to the next prompt. To generate my next prompt, I am going to use a tool called Thomas.io. It is a prompt generator that generates prompts for stable diffusion. This is only for the people who are having trouble generating prompts and ideas. So for example, I want to generate a prompt of a victim who is in prison. He looks scary. So I will add all these keywords in this section right here and click on generate prompt. Coming back to Leonardo.ai, this is the prompt. A murder victim in prison, scary, scars on face, bald, intimidating. And let's add some keywords. Actually, let's click on generate without adding keywords. As you can see, these are the results. And what I've noticed with Photo Real is that you just need to write a small prompt and it works very well with small prompts. So if you want some Photo Real images of different scenes and different people, you can always use this. Now let's try Vibrant and let's add full body shot behind bars. This is the prompt full body shot of a murder victim in prison behind bars, a white male. And these are the generations as you can see. So now let's move on to our next prompt. This is the next prompt Alien Curse Theme Mock Up Beautiful Semi Cyborg Female. And this is the result of this prompt. Now let's add full body shot and these are the images after we add full body shot as you can see and the images look pretty detailed and cinematic. Now if we shift it to Pika and create a cinematic short video using all the, these images and using photo reel, I think we are going to come up with a really good cinematic short film or a trailer of any movie. Now instead of cinematic, let's choose creative and let's give the character a name and click on generate. I gave the character a name, so female Mia and these are the amazing images that, I that it came up with. Now let's increase the number of images to 4 and click on generate once again. I generated I generated a couple of images using the same prompt and these are all the results. So after giving the name to the character, I think there is some similarity in the face features. Not completely similar, but they resemble a bit. Here are some examples of what you can achieve using photo reel. So this is one image and as you can see the prompt is really small. So 
In Photoreal, you can achieve really good images using small prompts, as you can see right here. Photoreal, this is also a small prompt. And this. So, you can achieve some pretty amazing looking images using small prompts. This is also not a small prompt looking at the other traditional Leonardo.ai or stable diffusion prompts if you see. So you can achieve some amazing looking images using this photo real feature. So experiment and see for yourself. This was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.